Well, you can see we got done hunting here. We're in Michigan. We shot our 15 birds. We got three guys this morning. Um, you can see what we're doing. We're hunting in a sod field this morning. And as you can see, the cover is, is really low. It's essentially like a golf course. Um, what we did last night is we got in here and we dug these pits. Um, and obviously we got permission from the farmer first. We dug these pits in here and they've got this sod grass. You can see, come here and look at this. They've got these, these strips of sod, uh, sod grass that were out here. And we just went out here in the field and we picked this stuff up off the ground. And rather than laying our blinds out here, because um, the cover was, again, it's real low, we sat there and we dug these pits and then we got this, this carpet-like stuff out here that was already in the field and we just laid it over top of us, which really concealed us. Um, again, whenever you're hunting low cover like that, the best thing you can do is use the natural surroundings. Anytime you can use the natural cover, that's always going to be your best hide. Um, I know I've said that before, but as you can see here, to put a blind out here, it's just not going to blend in very well at all. So again, use your natural cover. And luckily, we had this available to us, so we were able to throw that over top of us. Um, but it turned out to be a great hunt. We shot our 15 birds, and they actually decoyed pretty well. And we, we landed, I think, there was at one point, I think we landed 40 birds. I think we had 15 or so off to our right or off to our left and had another 20 or so off to our right. But uh, it turned out to be a good hunt. And again, anytime you use that natural cover to your advantage, definitely do that. Ha, 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 ha,